Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. In case you can't tell, I am still sick. My nose is plugged up. Don't feel too good, but I went to Toys R Us and I found some dope shit. But Nightwing, where is the D. Lillard 2 performance review? Bruh, relax, okay? I don't play in shoes one time. I play in them like a whole bunch of times before I give them their performance review. And because I kept getting sick, my body was like aching like a mofo, and so I wasn't able to get on court comfortably. So it delayed things a little bit. Relax, guys, like relax. It gets really tiring feeling like a used tampon. Just saying. But Nightwing, what about the test reviews? Same thing, man. <laughs> Relax, dude. They're coming. They're coming. You know what I'm saying? Nightwing, quit being an asshole to all of your fans. Guys, I'm not being an asshole, man. I'm just telling you guys what's up. You know what I mean? Like, you guys take anything I say into a way that's like, oh, he's being mean. It's like, bro, if you want to see me be mean, come to my house, piss me off, and then I'll be mean to you. But this is not me being mean. Stop being so sensitive. Relax. Take a chill pill. Just have fun, man. This is YouTube. It's YouTube, guys. It's YouTube. And I'm not letting y'all shit on my parade either, man. Because today is an awesome day. Why? Because I went into Toys R Us and they had Batman v Superman figures, man. Batman v Superman. Spoiler alert. Aquaman's in the movie. Yeah, buddy. The king of Atlantis himself. He's going to be in the movie. Not just a cameo, dude's gonna be in it. How do I know? Because they made a damn action figure, man. He's gonna be in it. And it was weird too, because when I got to Toys R Us, the whole place was like ransacked and stuff. So I don't know when these figures went out on shelves, but somebody took all of them. All that was left was Batman's. And I'm a big Batman fan, but I was like, yo, man, I wish that there was Wonder Woman. I wish that Superman was there. I saw in the back that there was an Aquaman. And I was like, man, I wish Aquaman was there. They were all gone though. They only left me these two. Plus some other like random ones. They had like tall figures and uh, stuff that like random suits and stuff that are dumb. You know what I mean? I like the actual like, like this is what the real Batman looks like. So here we go. This is the basic figure. These are like $10 and um, it's just uh, like a, a regular action figure, I guess. And then this is their, what they call their multiverse. It's kind of like the Marvel Marvel Legends version of a DC figure. And these ones are $19. They're a little bit more articulated, I guess. Like you got that stomach joint right there in the abdomen, whereas these ones don't. This one has a rubbery cape. This one has a cloth cape. This one has a really cool looking face. This one doesn't. So, um, you know, so it's just, it, it is what it is. Uh, the cool thing though is that these, like Marvel Legends, they come with Build-A-Figure stuff. And instead of building a figure, you actually get to build the dude's grapple gun. Like how cool is that? That's real cool. That's what it is. Then when I was checking out, they have behind the cash register lady, they got this like blue bin and that's where all the return stuff goes. And so they, you know, take the return and then they eventually put it back on shelves. And I just saw three action figures with the boxes like face down like this. And I asked the lady if I could see which figures got returned. And sure enough, Armored Batman got returned and Aquaman got returned. So you know who bought them. Yep. So yeah, so these are pretty dope, man. They're they're the basic figures again, just like uh just like the uh the Batman one. I think they're they're pretty cool, man. I don't know if I'm gonna open these yet, but you know, I'll think about it. This is the one that I really want to open because he's super poseable and he comes with that grapple gun thing, but I don't want to open them unless I get everybody to build the grapple because I think that would be sick. So if you wanted an up close look, here you go. You can see how messed up they got Batman's face on this guy compared to this one. This one looks badass, dude. He looks sick. Man, this is the coolest costume for a movie I've seen yet. And I really thought that the uh the second suit that Bale got in the Batman, you know, Nolan verse or whatever. I thought that, that was like the coolest suit, but this is the most comic book accurate, which makes it just badass. Of course, he's got that grapple gun right there. So yeah, this one's a little bit more gritty and realistic. You got the belt. It looks more like, you know, movie accurate. This one's more Adam West comic book style. It's hard to see it, but his knuckles have little brass knuckles on them. And then he's also got steel toes on the boots, dude. Like that's sick. You know that Batman's going to be fucking some dudes up in this movie. It's going to be epic, dude. This is going to be one of those movies where you're just gonna be like, oh, oh shit, the entire time. One of my favorite things to do, especially since I was a kid, is look at the back of the box at the figures that you wanna get next. Of course, Superman and Wonder Woman, and then that armored Batman. Wonder Woman doesn't look like the chick, not in my opinion, so I think that's a bad mold. And then I thought this with the original Man of Steel figures too, but they can't get Cavill's face right, man. For whatever reason, they just can't do it because Batman's full hooded. He always looks sick. They got Wonder Woman in the basic figures too, as well as Superman. Gotta get those. And here's Jason Momoa as Aquaman. This dude, I think, is gonna be badass. Like, he's pretty sick in the New 52 or the, the reimagining of the character. Definitely not the Super Friend version. So, this is pretty dope, dude. I think it's sick. Can't wait to see the movie. There's a look at the back, just in case you guys wanted to look at it. And then, last one, that armored Batman. This one just looks sick, dude. Like, this Batman in a mech suit, man. Pfft, super dope. And then the back of this one as well. So, there you go. That's pretty much it. 
but I'm not gonna open and review and unbox and all that stuff. There's there's a action figure review people out there on YouTube. You can go check them out. This that's what they do. That's their thing. I'm not trying to you know rain on their parade or take any of their shine. Not that any of you guys are interested in uh, re <laughs> reviewing action figures. You know what I mean? But Nightwing, it's it's super posable. <laughs> When my voice isn't so deep, I actually got like a decent nerd like voice. I, I used to do impressions when I was a kid. I was an only child for a long time, so I would just like talk to myself with all my action figures. And that was my thing, man. I, I'd be able to make sound effects, all kinds of weird shit. I was a strange little kid. But yeah, dude, if you're looking for action figure reviews, there's other people that do it. I'm just a fan, and I think that these are dope. So if you're looking for them, hit up your local Toys R Us. Target might even have them as well. If you got them, hit me up on Instagram. Show me your cops or your pickups. More than interested to see them. I think it's dope when people share their pickups with me. I think it's sick. So if you watched this video and you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm sure plenty of you guys are going to hit the thumbs down because it's not a pair of shoes. And I went on a mini rant in the beginning. Oh well. But I do appreciate everybody that supports, like truly supports, not tries to take advantage of what I do and all that kind of stuff like I know that a lot of people don't understand what the wear testing thing does to people's bodies and like playing in a new pair of shoes every week four to five days a week is not the business like it's not I could barely move in the morning you know what I'm saying like it sucks sometimes I have a lot of fun doing it and I love it so don't get me wrong about that I'm just saying that some of y'all act like you're entitled to things when what you really should be doing is being appreciative of things like me and these wicked ass action figures I'm appreciative of these I didn't expect DC or whoever the hell made these things Mattel to put out action figures just because the movies coming out even though you know that they will it's a cash grab it's easy money but I'm appreciative that they did because that gives me the chance to enjoy them and that's what life's about about. Just enjoy and relax. Have fun. Live life. Do your thing. Don't let nobody rain on your parade. That's the, the motto of the video. Don't let nobody rain on your parade or up your day. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.